trouble. Oh, chased him down! Absolutely! Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer. LeBron really couldn't let me enjoy the fact that the Lakers missed on Paul George for 24 hours, could he? He couldn't give me that. So if you haven't heard, LeBron went west. There's Delonte West joking there somewhere. But with LeBron going to the Western Conference, it creates a domino effect as one might expect when the best player in the league changes teams, and in this case, also conferences. So let's discuss real quick. And the most obvious now is the East is wide open. But when I say wide open, deep down as a Sixers fan, I know it's the Celtics Conference until the Sixers make a trade and or folks turns into baby James Harden like I thought. This also possibly allows the Raptors to finally become their best self instead of letting LeBron sun them each year. I think they did play the Celtics tough this year when Kyrie was there, I think. It would be funny if the Raptors end up being the Celtics kryptonite, but yeah, that's a long shot. But yeah, the Celtics, bearing injuries, actually, no, they almost made the finals with the squad they had. So yeah, sadly, everybody in the East is now looking up at the Celtics. So two of my basketball worst nightmares have come true in one move. Thanks, Brian. It puts the pressure on the Sixers to get Kawhi. I just hope they don't get desperate and trade folks. I still believe. Brown to the West makes the Celtics the kings of the East by default with everybody else looking up. It also made it way harder for fans of East teams to defend their team in the East versus West debates. The talent level is so lopsided now. I wouldn't be surprised if they took away the conferences and made it best of 16 to get in. Top shelf talent, the East really has what? Kyrie, Greek Freak, and Embiid? I mean, come on, man. And it's sadly been that way for a while. Just think of the teams who've had the best shot to beat LeBron. They weren't exactly juggernauts. Rose era Bulls, PG era Pacers. He swept the 60 win Hawks, owned the Celtics. The East has got to do better. But what's funny is I guess all the reports of his number one priority being what his family wants were right. Because why else would he go to the Lakers? If they get Kawhi, I would figure Ingram is going, maybe Ball or Andor Kuzma. So it would be then Brian and Kawhi versus the Rockets? Timberwolves? Warriors? Them boys aren't exactly a beat up Celtics, scared Raptors, or upstart Pacers. If they keep the young guys, there's a lot of faith in Ingram turning into the next Durant and Ball now shoot 30% from three again. But I don't know. And Kyle Tobias Harris Kuzma got people think he's gonna be better than he actually is. But this is always one of the main points people bring over of why he wouldn't go to the Lakers. Brown wants to stay in the East. No way he wants to play the Rockets and or Warriors before he even reaches the finals. Well, But the worst thing to come from all this is Lakers fans being allowed to sit at the big boy table again. I grew up during the Lakers, Kobe, Shaq era. Other than them beating my Sixers, it was great. But once I got older, I realized how terrible their fans were. Now I get it, when your team wins so much, your expectations and such is a lot different than, say, a Clippers fan, but jeez. So these past few years have been great watching them waste the two on Russell and trade him to get rid of a contract. And it was even better this year when the Sixers made the jump before the Lakers did. But through all that, they still land LeBron freaking James. Taking my hater shades off, it would be dope if they get DeMarcus Cousins if Kawhi doesn't come, but who knows. All I know is the Lakers are back, and I don't like it. But anyways, alright people, what do you guys think of LeBron going to the Lakers? Tell us how you feel in the comments down below. And if you're a Lakers fan watching this video, <laughs> and all y'all make sure to subscribe here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA content. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris. Thank y'all for watching and be good, y'all. Sometime you'll win, sometime you'll